Removing the Side Mirror In order to remove the exterior mirror, you must first remove the door panel. Video of this in the description or in the information card. After the door panel is off, you can unplug the mirror. There is a small hook on the underside of the plug. You can push it a little to the side and pull the plug out of the guide. Release the connector itself by pressing the catch and then unplugging. Detach the wiring harness. It's just clipped into the door with two hooks. Remove the screw, Torx 20, at the bottom end of the inner cover of the mirror. The cover is then just clipped in and you can pull it out. Underneath is the screw, multi-tooth 8, with which the mirror is mounted. Unscrew it and remove the mirror. Disassemble into individual parts. The dismantling into the individual parts can also be done if the side mirror is mounted on the door. First you have to remove the mirror glass. The glass can sometimes be pried out. Further information on removing mirror glasses is linked. The two heating cables do not have a special lock and can be disconnected. If the cables are tight, press against them at the point shown so as not to damage the soldering point to the glass. After the glass is off, remove the three screws, Torx 20. The mirror cap is still hooked in at the top. Push the hooks down. Press the two hooks underneath together. The frame on the front should now be removable. The mirror cap then only hangs on a small hook at the marked point. After the mirror cap is off, you can detach the lower part from the housing by pushing it. The connector of the indicator has a small lock. Push and pull. Now only the servo motor remains. It is fixed in the middle with a screw, Torx 8. And attached to the housing with two hooks on the side. That's it again. Have fun screwing.